Okay, so we've got someone on the phone that we're going to help with their problem. Who is it then? Amy, Amy, you got some sort of problem. What is it? <laughs> Hello, Russell. Hello, darling. You're right. Oh, very well. How are you? I'm ever so well, thanks. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a right good mood oh, about things. Oh, you're you are. Yeah, you're better than I am. <laughs> Why? Why are you not in a good mood? What's wrong, Amy? Oh, nothing much. I was just thinking, I, I, the, like, I, I am 22, and I shave my head. Right, fair enough. I'm not like bald, not like Britney. Mm, because not... people have taken that as a real defiant stance against femininity, the shaving of her head. It's been seen as a really powerful, a symbolic act, ain't it? Why do you shave your head? I just go, well, uh, I don't know, because well, I'm kind of lazy. As well, what, like, so you, you just know. don't have to comb your hair or put well, air gel on? Much. Yeah, I do comb it. You know, lots of quite like. Does, you does comb it? it? Like yeah. Oh, you said it's just shaved. Well, you must be but, just you know, raking a comb like across your head like a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that what you do? Rake a metal comb across your head, dribbling yeah. into a mirror? Yeah. Yes, that's what I do. Yeah. Sounds all right to me, Amy. <laughs> I wouldn't seek to condemn you. So, okay, so what advice do you need from us, darling? Well, it's only that. I just think, I just wonder whether you think I might, like, be having, like, an adverse effect on my love life. Because, like, people think that I'm a lesbian. Well, uh, are you not a lesbian? Well, if I react in anger, if people ask me, like, then I look like a, like a homophobe, which I'm not. Okay. Well, uh, you know, of course we all know that nothing wrong with being a lesbian. It's no, a bloody course, good thing. Yes. Okay. Now, so, but you aren't a lesbian, no. but you do look like you might belong to a yeah. particular aspect of the lesbian community, i.e. them ones what's got short hair. Uh, no, but then, then if I do ever meet a boy, they're always mm. a bit weird. Mm. Like, they've always got, like, like, you know, like, they work at, like, Argos. And Listen, with nothing wrong with that. Nothing no, wrong with that. No, but what I'm saying is, like, you know, I mean, like, a nice, normal boy, but if mm. I don't look nice and normal, then I'm worried that, like, then I... I suppose you will, yeah, if you sort of make choices that sort of suggest you belong to a particular culture, then you're, you know, you're unlikely to meet, sort of, say a kind of uh, dapper fella what wears a tuxedo and goes hunting of a weekend. Well, I don't know, I'm not really, not that sort of, I'm just someone that's a bit like... Where do you socialise, Amy? Where do I socialise? Yeah. I don't know, there's not really many places to go in Birmingham, but, you know, I, I, I don't know, I like sort of, I don't know, sort of places that play like metal and stuff, which I suppose isn't more, it's not really the sort of place. But I don't want to go places that play like, you know, cheese. Go things. places what play Chris de Berg. everyone will be feeling right romantic there, I predict, and they'll be falling <laughs> into each other's arms, regardless of haircut. Matthew knows about heavy metal music, he'll be our help. So um, I have to go somewhere that plays Christopher Berg? You might have to. No, stick with lines. the metal, but I reckon you should have a range of wigs for a different... A range of wigs? Yeah. Why can't she just that be herself? Yes, exactly! Because she could go out with a suitcase full yeah. of wigs, yeah. mm. and then she could... You can be yourself, but there's lots of different, you know, aspects, aspects of the self. I someone back to my room by wearing a wig and be like... That's true, because hold on, yeah, she gets someone back to the room, she takes the wig off that No, because what you do is in the taxi going home... In the taxi, just lift it up and go... <laughs> like that. And so they think, hang on, did she just lift her hair up? Well, hold yeah. on, you're going to do that sound effect. It's also, though, You've isn't got to that do the, sound. the wonder bra effect of, like, you sort of feel like a bit swindled sometimes? <laughs> no, not if she sort of brings it gently, goes, exactly, Ooh. Yeah. like that, and you think, hang on, she's bald. Yeah. Right. I I should... both with my sterling personality. Your personality is brilliant. No well, one's denying might, that. It might be. It might be that I'm just really annoying. You're upbeat to do with it. and you're fun, Amy. No <laughs> one is, de is <laughs> contesting that. We we've been speaking to you for a matter of minutes and it's obvious you're lovely. But where are you making this phone call from? Because there's an odd noise in the background. Um, it might be, it might be, oh, well, I'm, I'm sitting in a betting shop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, see, that's the problem. Yeah, it's your gambling it. addiction. <laughs> the problem's not your hair. <laughs> but like, the reason you're not meeting people is because you run around clutching betting slips, <laughs> worrying about the 10.30 at Chapstow or whatever it is that people think. Did you cut your hair off to pay for gambling debts? Oh, no, I d yeah, no, I just, I just work here. You, oh, oh, right, you're working right, in a betting yeah. shop. Can't yeah. you meet some lovely gambling fella, a bit like Paul Newman in one of his films where he's a gambler? <laughs> so Perhaps you can. But they all, they all usually smell like cider or wee. <laughs> cider and wee, and yeah. or wee. And that, that's what the actual wee, that's what they smell like. They go back and forth to the pub all day. Really? Like, you know, just a stereotype of gamblers. I mean, I'm sure a lot of them are very nice. Um, but... That is very sensible broadcasting that you've just done there. Thank Matthew? You. Gambling shops are the most there. baffling environments on earth. They are, aren't they? I don't we understand were... it. We were in one recently, and it's a bit depressing because the floor is scattered with torn and broken dreams. People yeah. stagger, looking at the future for open optimism, optimism <laughs> that will never come. Oh, I don't like it in there. No. It's like they give you all their money and they can't afford it. They can only afford to buy their kids, like, <laughs> jigsaws from the charity shop with the pieces missing and that. That's oh. depressing. A jigsaw with pieces missing, that's going to be largely unsatisfying. I wouldn't it? start no. the jigsaw till I can. You get all the way to the end and mm. then there's a piece missing, right? So, I don't know. Why do you know so much about jigsaws from charity shops? This is a minority <laughs> interest. 
Listen, my love, I think that you don't meet someone at the betting shop if you're worried about this cider and wee thing. <laughs> what I think you should do is just go to a wider variety of places. Yeah. Sometimes go to a Toff's Ball. Sometimes go out to a place for, I don't know, for people that are suffering from, I don't know, some sort of condition. They're bonkers or something. Yeah, go to support groups to meet people, things and like that. in a suitcase full of wigs? Take the yeah, try match suitcase full of wigs option, a variety uh, of wigs, but do always remember in the taxi to lift it up like a puppet. Okay. <laughs> Amy, we have helped you all that we possibly can. Help? You, said, oh, yeah. you haven't said help. Pardon? You haven't gone help. <laughs> help. <laughs> there you go. You've got a lovely personality. You'll be married by the end of the show, I oh, guarantee it. Jeez, I promise. Yeah, well, if you you don't need to meet someone, you've got everything you need inside your own mind and heart. Oh, but I reckon you'll meet great. someone everywhere. That's oh. all right. Thanks, Thanks for calling us. You're a beautiful soul. Ta ta. Oh, bye bye. Now. Off she goes, old Amy. Well, I think she seems nice. Yeah, she shouldn't worry about looking like a lesbian. I think lesbians are very attractive. I prefer lesbians to, to straight women sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? Or well, what I, circumstances? I, I often end up falling in love with lesbians. Really, Trevor? Yeah. Well, I don't know what that is. I, I worry. Because they're not interested in you. Maybe that's what it is, yeah. I don't think you have to be a lesbian to not be interested in Trevor, but it helps. <laughs>